In the previous video, we saw how we can write the plugin code. Now in this video, let us see how we can deploy and test the plugin. Now the cloud platform only allows signed assemblies as that makes it more secure. So before we can deploy, we need to sign this assembly. So for that, you can go to the project, right click on it, and then click on properties, click on signing. And then over here, you can select this field, sign the assembly. And then in the choose a strong name key file, you can select new. Now over here, you can provide a key file name. And if you want to provide a password, you can provide it or you can just uncheck this. And in the signature algorithm, I'm just selecting the default encryption algorithm that is being used. So I'm not going to change it. And then I will click on OK. And now you need to build the project. So to be able to build the project, you can go to the project, right click on it and click on build. And over here in the bottom, you will see that the build has started and the build has now succeeded. So that means there is no errors and the build has succeeded and it has created an assembly file. Right click on your project, click on open folder in file explorer and then click on bin and then click on debug and over here you will find the dll techquantum.dll or whatever your project name is and this is the assembly that we need to register in crm now in one of the previous videos i showed you how you can install the registration tool uh, with the NuGet package so we are going to go to that package folder so right click on the project go to open folders file and folders and then go one step up and then you'll find those packages which is already installed if this is not installed you can just refer to my previous videos where i specified how you can do that and you can install this um, assembly okay so double click on that and then go to tools and over here you will find that there is an exe file application file called plugin registration tool so let's just go ahead and open this and over here we can create a new connection to the CRM environment where we want to upload the plugin. So create a new connection. And here I have to specify the Office 365 credential. Uh, well, I will say, okay, display all available organization and show advance. And then I can provide my username and password. And I can provide my username and password. And then I can click on login. So here we have to register our plugin. And as you can see, there are already so many plugins over here. Now these are handled by the system, so you don't have to worry about that. So click on register and register new assembly. Now over here, you need to browse uh, to the location where your plugin is available. So click on browse, go to the location where your DL is available, select that and click on open. So here it will list out the plugin um, which has to be registered. So it is already selected. Now there are some options for specify the isolation mode and specify location where the assembly should be stored. We'll discuss that at some point of time, but right now we can just go ahead and click on register selected plugins. And this will upload the plugin to CRM. So click on okay. And over here you can see that the Tech Quantum plugin has been registered. Now what we have done is that we have uploaded the plugin but we still have to specify when this uh, plugin will be run. If you remember this plugin pipeline in our previous videos, we had discussed that, you know, how the plugin is uploaded and then registered. Currently, we have uploaded the plugin to CRM, but we need to register that plugin in this pre-operation stage. So we have to register a step over here so that the system knows, okay, that particular plugin or the logic in that particular plugin has to be run at the pre-operation stage. So that's what we are going to do right now by registering a step. So go to your plugin that you have registered. Now right click on it and then click on register new step. Now in the message section, you need to specify when do you want to run this logic? Is it on create or on update or what it is? So we want to run it on create of the contact. So we'll just type in create. And what is the primary entity? So for us, the primary entity in here is contact. And then in this case, you need to specify what is the stage that you want to run this logic. So is it pre-validation, pre-operation or post-operation? So in our case, we want to do it in pre-operation and then you can leave the other settings as it is and then click on register new step. And then you can see over here that a step has been registered for this particular plugin, right? So in this case, we have registered our plugin and also registered a step. So we are good to go and we can now test the logic 
in our CRM. So here we are in our CRM environment. Let's just click on contacts. And what we want to do is we want to create a new contact and then provide the first name and the last name. So what we want to achieve is that as soon as I save this record now, I want the personal notes section to be automatically populated. So let's just go ahead and save it. And now you can see that the personal notes section has been populated with the hello world message that we had typed in our code. So this is how you can uh, create a plugin, upload it, register it, and also register a step. Why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself and let's meet in next video. So stay tuned. <laughs>